And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor and today I'm looking at this. So this is the official Soldano SLO100 uh, algorithm, plugin, whatever you want to call it, within Amplitude 5. And uh, the good people at IK Multimedia during this month of March 2021 uh, given this away for free. So as long as you have Amplitude 5 and you have downloaded the Amplitude 5 custom shop app, which is basically the app where uh, you log in there and then you can download new amps and speakers and microphones and effects and whatnot. Uh, you can log into that and redeem it for free and you have it for free. So until March 31st, 2021, uh, this is free. And I thought, let's quickly check it out because I haven't actually checked it out yet. So um, for this video, I'm using my rather lovely and shiny um, Sire Larry Carlton L7 which is a rather lovely guitar with a rather lovely neck. Um, and this is going straight via green cable into my Audient ID44 interface. Now, I did a video on that, and you can watch that video here, and i link it below as well, on uh, things like impedance issues and whatnot. If you're recording your guitar direct using amp sims or amp sim software on your computer, uh, you most likely need a DI to make it sound all right, or to make it sound like it sounds like this demo anyway. So uh, uh, if you don't have a DI input like I do on my uh, interface, maybe get a DI or look into what you can do. Uh, you know, there's other ways of getting around it, but watch that video that was there before. Uh, just so you know, so that goes straight into Logic and uh, the clean sound, so without the plugin. So this is just a dry, direct signal of the guitar into Logic, sounds like this. pretty meh so now let's turn it on so this is what it looks like and I'm just on the first so in, in amplitude 5 if you click on this thing up here uh, it goes into uh, you go to custom shop and when this within custom shop you've got Soldano SLO 100 and here the uh, what is it seven plugins uh, not plugins uh, presets you've got um, so I just thought let's go through them right let's just start with metal SLO channel uh, so let's turn it on and when I play G chord it sounds like this <laughs> really cool actually so this is basically I've never tried this before so this is my, my first time as well um, so this is basically um, just a direct signal there's nothing there you're going through the Soldana straight into what cabinet are we using uh, we're using a 4x12 metal T1 I think some of these cabinets are free as well during this month that kind of come with it not 100% sure but um, we're using two mics what are the mics we're using uh, we're using a ribbon 121 and we're using a dynamic 421. Uh, two mics. What are the speakers we're using? Um, they're all vi vintage 30s by the look of it. No, Brit V2. What's this one? That's a vintage 30. Oh, no, they're all vintage 30s. Sorry, that's a selected there. But they're all um, Brit V2. Yeah, that's a vintage 30s. Um, cool. Oh, and then there is also a um, tube compressor. So that's all there is. That's it. and then it just goes into that. Um, there's no room. Uh, it's just your mic one and mic two. That's you can pan it and stuff, but it's not panned. There's no DI sound. There's just a um, effects insert with a tube compressor. Cool. So that's the preset. It sounds pretty cool to me. <laughs> SLO channel. Let's go to the next presets. Metal SLO channel gain plus. Thank you. 
That's cool. I'm enjoying this. Um, next. SLO Clean. Uh, okay. Let's go maybe next pickup. That's very clean and a bit quieter, but I mean... Volume's almost up. Hang on, can we maybe crank the compressor a bit to... It's clean. It's very clean. Uh, okay, let's go next one. Clean two. Ooh. Uh, hang on, can we make this a bit? Hang on, get, go to here. Over a volume master. Let's go. That's a lovely reverb. That's a lovely reverb. I mean, it has nothing to do with the amp, but <laughs> it's a digital reverb. It's a lovely, lovely reverb. Was that the same same speakers with the same mics? Oh no, this is a different mic. So this is using a, a condenser 170 and a one to ribbon, ribbon 121. Uh, Okie dokie. Okay, next preset. SLO Crunch. <laughs> Again, with the same tube compressor. So it's all the same. Is that the same speakers? I mean, same, yeah, it looks like it's even the same mics as before. Um, Kind of roll off the volume as well and it, it cleans up a bit it's a very actually i might try that out later on with the p90s i think that could having a bit more you know honk from the p90s would sound good there lead one very dryly but Sounds great. It's a cool sound. Okay, well, let's check out. Is it another one? Lead two? Whoa! Okay, it's maybe turn the output down a bit. It's quite loud. It has a lot of presence. Maybe let's turn it down a bit. Cool. I mean, lead or not lead. Actually, let's see if we can. Let's add a. Um, let's add a delay to it. What about a tape echo? Yeah, tape echo. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Sounds cool. It has that fizziness of Soldano. Um, Moloch. Oh, hang on. Is that already the next? That's already, I think already the next. Yeah, we're in a T Rex thing now. Okay. So let's go back to Metal SLO Channel. Because I thought that sounded really cool. Let's uh, give it a bit more gain. That sounds cool, but let's try uh, that sound with a lower tuned guitar. So this is my, hang on, let's go up, up, up a bit again. Okay, so this is my Carvin, uh, or now it would be called Kiesel CT6, this is in drop C tuning, all stock. And with that same sound, same settings, everything the same, sounds like this. Okay, for that we need to bring the presence up a bit more again. Holy moly, let's maybe turn the bass down a smidge. Or maybe actually it's turn presence and treble up a bit just to compensate. <laughs> Some, what should we add to it? What about we've got a compressor going? Uh, let's try digital delay this time. Okay, make sure you wear headphones. That's some cool uh, stereo effects going on there. And I think, I mean, don't quote me on this, but I think the digital delay comes with the free version. Sounds really good. That's a great sound. Let's see. Should we maybe? Okay. 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 Should we maybe? Let's go back to the end. Let's uh, let's get a pedal. Let's get something uh, distortion. Let's get something like an overscreen. <laughs> Stick that in front. Turn the overdrive all the way down. Crank the level and play with the game with the tone. <laughs>
But uh, it definitely tightens it up and it makes it beefier. <laughs> Sounds cool. All right, now that was with the drop tuning guitar. Let's try quickly, just for something different. Um, let's try the P90s. Sorry, lots of noise. All right, this is my rather lovely Fano uh, Omnis MG6, which is an awesome guitar, absolutely awesome guitar, uh, with beautiful 290s and uh, 290s, two P90s in it. And so that same sound again, that same with the delay and so this, whatever that setting is there with the tube screamer in front of it, it sounds like... Your P90s, you don't actually even really almost need that tube screw. I mean, you know, you don't have that, those low notes from the drop tune guitar. <laughs> Crunch, Soldana Crunch, SLO Crunch. Because I think that'll sound good with the P90s. Let's see. Again, it's a bit darker. That's interesting. So it's. See now, so, okay, now we should really look at this. So um, the layout here. So basically you've got a bright and normal switch. So we're currently, we're, okay. So we've got the normal and the overdrive channel, right? In a normal channel, you've got crunch and clean. Now the normal channel here, when you're down on the normal channel, you're using the normal preamp. So this is your basically pre like gain control almost. And you have your normal master, right? Uh, bass, mids, treble and presence kind of work with all of it. Uh, so within that normal channel you have a clean and a crunch channel. So if we go down to clean for example, this is a clean. So even if we're cranking the preamp, it's quite a clean channel. It doesn't really break up. Now if you go to crunch, we know it's a more of a driven set. Which actually sounds really cool. So you, that's a gain control, basically. So you can just have a little bit of breaker. Uh, maybe a little bit more. And it goes all the way to like a fairly crunchy sound. This is your volume now for that, so if you turn that down. So this doesn't do anything with that. You can turn that down. So now if you click that into overdrive, now you're bypassing the normal channel 
and normal master. So normal preamp and normal master is gone. Now you're on the overdrive master and overdrive uh, preamp. That again also goes from fairly clean. Which actually sounds quite good. That sounds quite, that's a, quite a nice sound. It's a cool sound, but it goes to, you crank that to very distorted. Now in that setting, clean and crunch doesn't do anything. So the clean and... So clean and crunch is for the normal channel, and then you have the normal and overdrive. And so normal is, that's your preamp with the clean and, clean and crunch, and then you've got bright. So with that, there's way to keep it. Normal bright switch, right? Um, so that's basically how that works. So that's, there's different, you can get quite a lot of different sounds out of it from pretty super clean to really quite overdriven. So if you go into overdrive mode and really crank that, um, it's quite a lot of gain. For example, if we add, just quickly, uh, add a little bit of reverb. Um, ooh, 63 reverb. Let's do this Fender. Ooh. Uh, mix it down a bit. for that but one of the things you can actually do is you can go um, when you go into your actually speaker cabinets you've got these up here you've got the the room um, speakers which are actually currently turned all the way down so if you turn it up a bit it gives a bit of room sound <laughs> so we can if we mute those two so this is now just a room mic There's a little bit of latency. It's kind of cool. And if we change a room, for example, so if we go to like, ooh, subway. Or what about uh, bathroom? change all that stuff to a garage a lot of times that sort of stuff gives you just extra extra um, it, it makes it sound a bit more realistic because you actually have a room sound in there as well uh, or the larger studio If you get rid of that, it's almost a bit too direct. It just adds a bit of room sound. 
And I mean, usually when you play an amp, you hear room sound. So um, anyway, that's that. I mean, that's the uh, that's the SLO 100 um, plug-in with a couple of different guitars. Um, I think it sounds really cool. It's super versatile. There's tons of stuff you can do with it. And it's free. That's the best thing of all. Uh, it's free. Now, um, I have, thanks to the awesome people at RK Multimedia, access to every amp, every speaker cabinet, every everything. So, if there's any particular amps you want me to do, uh, you know, videos on, kind of like this one, or any particular cabinets or microphones, anything like that, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to, to get onto it straight away. So, um, thankfully, um, if you look here, I mean, there's all these amps. Uh, I'm definitely going to go through a bunch of the Fender ones, um, the Fender packs, uh, the Dr. Z stuff sounds interesting, like the old Sun, the, the JH1200, um, the Silvertone stuff, I really want to go through it, more Fender stuff. Um, so there will be videos on all these amps. Just let me know if there's any particular ones. Orange, definitely some orange. I think it was Randy who said he wanted to see some orange. Uh, that'll happen. Um, yeah, so let me know. Out of all these amps, there's a lot of them. Uh, do you want to see a particular video um, of any of them? And yeah, comments below. Uh, if you like what we do, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Maybe share it with your friends. Tell your friends. The more people watch this stuff, the more access we have to things and the more we can, more time and effort we can put into this stuff as well. And, and that just means more content for you. And we can try to be as interactive as we can. So you, we are trying to be. If you leave comments and let us know what you want us to do, we usually try to get, if we can possibly do it we try to get um onto it and do it so especially with this IK multimedia stuff let me know in the comments below thank you to the awesome people at IK multimedia thank you to the awesome people at fano and sire and uh, audience and you're hearing my voice through a lewitt uh lct 440 pure microphone big thank you to the lewitt people as well uh, for all the awesome support and thank you everyone and see you next time bye